because of the decree Caesar Augustus issued, Joseph had to go from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem in Judea. This trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem is about 150 kilometers, depending on the route you take. Joseph probably walked, and Mary would have ridden on the back of a donkey. That was surely not an easy trip for Mary, as she was nine months pregnant. It would have taken more than a week to make the journey on foot. Today, it would be a three-hour trip by bus or car. Now you may think three hours to go only 150 kilometers seems long, but the roads there are winding and hilly and not easy to travel, even today. If they traveled this way today, they would have also have had to cross checkpoints and regularly see soldiers standing in groups of three or more carrying rifles and making sure there were no problems. Arriving at the edge of Bethlehem, they would be faced by a 10 meter high concrete wall and a checkpoint that requires a passport or other papers to get through. In Bethlehem, the Church of the Nativity is on the top of a big hill and this place, called Manger Square, marks the center of Bethlehem. From the checkpoint, you can take one of three streets to get to the Church of the Nativity. The route I imagine Joseph took was along Hebron Road to Children's Street and then straight up to Manger Square about a two kilometer walk. Children's Street is a narrow street like almost every street in Bethlehem. It is lined with shops on both sides and in front of the shops there are vendors selling their wares, mostly fruits and vegetables, but they could be selling just about anything. As you walk along, the vendors holler, come buy from me, I have the best. Across the street is another vendor telling you he has the best and at a better price. The shop owners are all trying to get you to come into their shop and check it out. The street itself is full of people walking all over, even right up the middle. Behind them are the cars trying to work their way through the crowd, with their horns sounding every few seconds to move the people out of their way. It is chaos, but no one seems to pay any attention. Joseph and Mary may have worked their way up the street, minus the cars, and as they went, he would have hollered, anyone have a room to rent? Can't you see my wife is pregnant and we need a place to stay? The scene continues as they move up the street. Maybe they heard that there was a place up there where there was a room available. I don't know. But as they moved along, the scene repeated itself. Anyone have a room to rent? We need a place to stay. At times, the noise from everyone along the street would have drowned out Joseph's calls, and for sure the vendors were more interested in selling what they had. Mary and Joseph finally reached the top of the hill, and there, there was a manger, and Mary's time had come. Today, in this traditional site, stands the Church of the Nativity. It is a large, plain church outside with a small door to get in. This door is called the Door of Humility, as almost everyone must stoop to get in. If you continue walking past the church about three kilometers, along more narrow streets, and down off the hill, you come to a place called the Shepherd's Fields. As you look out over the fields, you might wonder how the sheep would ever find enough grass to eat. The fields are covered in stones 
with only a tuft of dry grass here or there. It is easy to imagine the shepherds out under a star-filled sky while relaxing against an olive tree, when suddenly an angel appeared and told them of the child being born. So off they went up the hill to the top. Now I know I'm not as fast as I used to be, but when they want to get somewhere, the pace of their walking is amazingly fast. Quickly they moved along, weaving around anything in their way. There was no time to waste. This thing that had happened was unbelievable, as nothing like it had happened before. The shepherds witnessed a great company of heavenly hosts that appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests.